Now that our footings are in place, we can begin building the walls of our foundation. The first step is to install the insulating concrete forms, or ICFs. They're one of the amazing products that will help make our home energy efficient. So let's get started and see how they work. My name is uh, Jerry Herdlicka. I'm here as a technical support for the insulated concrete forms, uh, ARCS insulated concrete forms. Uh, this morning, the gentlemen, before we actually lay block, are actually uh, snapping out lines, red lines, and then they actually put a sealer over the red line to keep the line so the weather doesn't take it away as, as time goes on, so we always have that re to uh, reference to. It's important that those measurements are taken correctly because there's building setback lines that we have to, we, we have to hold that line. So that's why our red lines are snapped and then they're sealed for, for the, the longevity of the project. Insulated concrete forms are side, two sides of insulated uh, styrofoam, and then there's a, a eight, on every eight inches there's a, a nailer that actually holds from front to back on a styrofoam form that actually makes up the insulated concrete form itself. On the blocks themselves, the ICF insulated concrete forms, they're not only between the black tabs, which are the nailers, but there's one inch increments in between that also. That you have to actually cut on the one inch increments to keep your black lines all in, all in a row. Once the, once the project is complete, you'll see that all of the black lines are in, 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 a, in a row, and that helps for keeping everything straight for drywalling, for nailing, for finding those black tabs for nailing or screwing to, whatever you need to do. Plus, when you're cutting on your one-inch increments, if you stay on those, it will always keep everything in line. The actual insulated concrete forms, when they're stacked on top of each other, will also, yes, they will alternate so the seams are never right above each other. You always alternate those over 8 inches, 16 inches, uh, 16 inches to a minimum, just to keep the support of the block so there's no seams correctly over each other. The insulated concrete forms, when we put our first course down, we build the first course, we put the second course on that, that locks our wall together, pretty much. On top of the footing that our form will sit on, we actually take a, a uh, adhesive foam that actually holds the block to the footing. We use the adhesive to actually ad adhere the block to the footing, which then also holds the block in place. So when we build our, when we put our scaffolding up on the inside, it doesn't move for us on a little, you know, a little bit here and there. It's, it's actually we need that to stay in that on our red lines that are already snapped. John was also down there building actually. Um, uh, foundation pier pads. Those are actually for the inside of the house that would actually sit on the actual dirt itself where a beam or something like that from the inside uh, beams of the house will actually sit on. Most of the forms are standard, but specialty pieces like the brick ledge forms are utilized for specific purposes. A uh, brick ledge form is basically just what it says. There's a brick ledge on the form itself. So you can build up three or four courses, two, three, four, five courses, whatever you'd like, and then you can put a brick ledge form on there, which will actually work as a brick ledge for the brick uh, above it, and then you can go back to a, a regular form on top of that brick ledge, which just helps kind of, it's, 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 it's a concept of the green, green idea. It, uh, you don't have to pour that real thick wall all the way down to the footing. You can use that brick ledge where it's necessary and then you can go up from there. So if it's the savings of concrete, which is a green idea. Visit the Built to Last website to learn about these topics and more.